Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and yeah, I got rear-ended by a chick, so my car is totaled, which is really, really freaking unheard of in terms of uh, rear-ending, or getting rear-ended, so, like, I can't even start up my car anymore, and you, yeah, the da damage is horrible, so, fuck, I mean, if you really love cars, it'll, it would make you cry, that's how much damage there was to it, so, like, yeah. Well, it's not as bad as the other car, which was a 2012 Kia Optima, so yeah, that's like, what, 30,000, 40,000? It was a luxury model, I think, so it's like 50 grand down the drain for her, and uh, on top of my 10 grand for my car, although her insurance company was a real fucking bitch, well, yeah, Ugh, real pain in the ass to work with, and on top of that, I've got, like, fucking neck injuries, and back injuries and I'm looking at like uh, a year or two maybe three years of uh, going to a chiropractor once a month and I've ha already uh, gone for three sessions now three days in a row just to get started then I gotta go uh, weekly for eight weeks and fuck so much wasted time there and on top of it I gotta go shopping for a new car Ugh. but uh, yeah now I have finally sort of getting more settled in after getting the insurance company to finally get to my car and uh... yeah i can do videos or i have the time to do some videos i'm just feeling like them so in this video i'm just going to be showing you guys how to overclock your graphics card in my opinion it's a lot easier and a lot more fun than overclocking your cpu or ram or whatever you want to overclock and uh... yeah it's so much easier um, but in this uh, example, I'm not going to overclock clock mine too much because for some odd reason, um, when I overclock it too much, while recording the video, it gets unstable. So I blame the video recorder. It is pretty, like, it's always been unstable, this uh, Camtasia recorder. But unfortunately, it does also give, like, the best results, in my opinion, of video quality afterwards. So anywho... Um, yeah, let's go to the basics. I'm going to set my overclocking speed to plus zero, which is um, normalness. And you guys can sort of see here. So right now, my frame rate, oh, and don't forget that apply button. I forget that so much time. You see the frame rate is around 82, 80-ish. And how to overclock? Well, it's simple. You typically want to go in increments of 10 and apply and what you're aiming here for is the 75 degree uh, Celsius or if you're really crazy you can go to 80 and then around um, 85 is sort of when you start to kill your GPU and 90 you're, you're gonna kill your graphics card in a couple months or whatever depending on how, you, how hard you game like fuck you know this is uh, a GDX 660 Ti it's a $300 card so I sure as hell don't want to ruin it so yeah, I'm not going to over go above that temperature. Besides, I don't need to. Um, if I overclock it a little bit, I'm getting a GTX uh, 680 performance with this one. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty as simple as that. So you guys get like 80 bucks extra out of your card, or 100 bucks extra, depending on whenever you bought your card. Or, well, you guys don't probably don't even have the same card as me. But anywho, let's go over the basics really quickly. Um, core clock is mainly for the newer cards. Uh, basically, if your motherboard has PCIe Gen 3, you want to do your core clock, else you want to focus a little more on your memory clock because the bottleneck is going to be your motherboard and the PCIe Gen 2 um, slot. So increasing the clock speed will increase your performance more because on the older motherboards you don't have as much bandwidth. Whereas uh, with mine, I've got a ton more bandwidth, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on increasing the core clock speed. And uh, the idea here is to keep your fan speed relatively low. Um, ideally, you'll, you'll, you'll want to keep it on auto, unless you're some crazy bastard who likes the sound of a jet engine. Here, I'll just turn it up to 79 here, so you, maybe you guys can hear it. Hopefully you guys can hear that, else whatever. Hopefully you guys get the idea. You're sitting next to a jet engine or, wow, that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, more like a air conditioner 24-7. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to switch this back to auto here. And uh, yeah, just overclock it to, if you keep it on auto, just go by the fan speed. Don't worry too much about the temperature. Just keep going. Um, I'd suggest not going above 60% uh, fan speed. And remember, just keep going up by increments of 10. You don't want to destroy your graphics card. Now, a lot of forums, they'll say, go until you see like bubbly shit or distortions on your screen. And I'm going to say right now, don't even fucking do that. Seriously. That's how you ruin your card. Whenever you get those little distortions, your card is dying. It's getting damaged at that exact moment. So you don't want to get to that point. And if you ever do see that, shut down your computer right away, let it cool off, start it up, and then change the settings. So that's um, it's a bit lower. Anywho, uh, MSI Combustor. This is pretty easy. I'm going to go through it here. So we got 3D test, you got stress test. Um, got some descriptions here and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, one second da, 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 da. Um, they don't really say too much detail but uh, I know from a little bit of experience that this one here does a lot more with memory so you know screw that I want processing power so this one here is the perfect for processing power it's particle effects so um, my base core speed here you can see is about 9 10 megahertz so you can use that to sort of give you guidelines as to how far away you are from the next uh, graphics card so I'm just going to increase this by another 10 and so on now unfortunately uh, when I go above 180 my recording thingamajig starts to bug out or rather it bugs out my graphics card and the drivers crash and all that crap so you know normally I can uh, get pretty stable at 250 for clock speed while gaming and um, yeah it's just this tool so I'm not gonna go above 180 here and I'm just gonna go right here uh, actually first um, here's frame sec per second average 82 just to show you guys how much of a performance boost you can get don't expect to turn a 20 year old graphics card into a brand new one so <laughs> so like so and every time you do a change, make sure you press the apply button because it doesn't apply until you press the button. And so here we are. See, I'm at 90 frames per second, and this is also while recording the video. So awesome. And uh, memory clock, you may want to go at smaller increments. And there's my card crashing because I've gone too high again with the thing. So I'm going to go back here and lower it to 100 again and that sort of thing. If you run into system instability that's uh, also a sign that you can't go any higher. I know it sucks like you may have an awesome uh, cooling system or whatnot um, but yeah you can always overclock the memory bit and I b do believe that uh, if it is a bit unstable you should just start increasing your memory clock and you may get more uh, stability. I'm really not too familiar with GPU overclocking but uh, that's the basics as far as I know and uh, I'm sure as hell there's going to be a lot of contradiction with this video. You know, like people co bitching about something I've said being wrong, but that's the basics, and it seems to be working for me. And yeah, fuck, I'm happy with it. And fuck, you know, I got $100 extra on my card. And yeah, this is also a reason why you probably don't want to... Um, buy a uh, manufacturer overclocked GPU when you can do it yourself like this fucking easily and it overclocks automatically like here every time your computer starts so yeah anyways this is Hot Noob here and you guys can come check out my blog at hotnoob.com and I'll see you guys later